Hey, this is Natalie with A Fifth Journey, and I kind of have a lot going on right now. I'm doing um, several projects at once and a little bit on a time crunch. But what I'm going to do here, this is a leaf lard batch or batter that I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be splitting it into two different projects. Um, one of them is going to be some cinnamon rolls. Um, I actually had the video already done, but I got another sampler of the fragrance so actually not a sampler but a two ounce bottle of the fragrance so i'm gonna do another one of those and this will be enough left over to do one more loaf and this is local leaf lard that i get locally sourced and it's awa certified so it's free range and i'm gonna go ahead and do this now the nice thing about leaf lard is it really slows down your batter it really slows down your tray so you can do more intricate designs and also if you're doing what I'm doing or making a bigger batch than dividing in two I've even done it in four um, with a really big big batch um, it makes it super awesome and super fluid um, the bad thing about it is if you're wanting to do like main layers um, like really crisp lines it's not great because it takes forever for it to set up come to trace but if you're doing really really pretty in the pot swirls or um, hanger swirls and this stuff is great. So anyway, um, what I'm going to be doing is a rose hip mix. I actually had some samplers, so I have some um, rose hip jasmine and then rose hip and then there's kind of a lavender that I put in there as well, so it smells really good. Now the lavender one does, it's not pure lavender, it's mixed with something else, but it, it does discolor to kind of a medium brown so my plan is to do just some delicate swirls in there. I've got some um, titanium dioxide, I have some red Moroccan clay, and I have some pink Brazilian clay, and then this one is the one that I'll put the fragrance in. So it is a lot of fragrance to put in one, but since it's all incorporated into the same loaf, then it'll be fine. So it's actually going to look kind of the same colors as this one, um, but this one is a different soap and it's gonna look different throughout. The other thing I'm gonna do is, I had made these before, this is um, a little flower that I'll put in there. So I'll put the soap in, do some hanger swirls, put this in, and I will fast forward through this. So you'll see me make the batter and then I'm going to divide it up into those, set the rest aside to use on that one. And then I will come back in a little bit. All right, as you can see, it is pretty similar on the colors. The insides will look completely different. This is very, very fluid. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably a good, maybe 10, 15 minutes while I'm cleaning up. And then I'll spritz the top with alcohol and put it in the oven to promote gel phase. But it was a super fast uh, batch of soap to make and um, can't wait to see what the inside looks like. I'm back and ready to cut the jasmine soap and these two are from another project so we'll, that'll be on another video so we have some nice colors in here so that brown is from one of the fragrances remember i had mixed four different fragrances together and um it is kind of a softer jasmine scent so i may go because i did have a rose hip jasmine in there so i may change the name a little bit i'm not quite sure yet what i'm going to do this one did take me a little bit longer to unmold because it was pretty soft I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the edges and then we'll cut it. Remember it has that little flower embed in there with um, cold process soap. I did not use a glycerin soap um, embed. So go ahead and trim this up and then we'll see what it looks like. We have some really fun swirls in there and that yellow will discolor quite a bit so you can see on this one that was exposed just a little bit to the air so that will darken up quite a bit um, so the colors, colors will change we've got some fun swirls in there and the, the flower should set up um, set out more once we have more of the colors but really nice delicate swirls in there I'm sorry about the lighting we've got a storm coming through and it's super dark outside um, and I can't really make the lighting any better right now. Um, but I'm really happy how those turned out. They smell really good. And we'll go ahead, trim them up, stamp them, and then we'll come back when it's time to take a final look.